all right so these are some of the called out elements in terms of uh, gdpr and the indian dbdp act right so i have sort of brought some of the differences where it is uh, uh, important for you to be aware of right so we already spoke about the material scope where it's only applying to digital personal data there is no special category data in the indian dbdp act but there was one mention of the word uh, data which are sensitive in nature uh, they use that word uh, for data dpia okay but uh, in general there is no special category data defined in the indian dbdp act they said they will treat all the data with the same level that that's good to hear but at the same time there is a uh, there should be in a spe specific emphasis when people are dealing with some sensitive personal data there should be some more uh, uh, specific called out requirements it's that's my personal opinion right principles have not been explicitly called out but it's embedded within the law uh, again the time to respond is not called out in the law as of now in gdpr it's it's 30 days and you can take 60 more days for complex request so most of the laws around the world follow a similar timeline some california law i think gives you 45 days uh, uh, some laws even give you only 15 days but uh, the general rule of thumb is 30 days so you can start planning towards that 30 days is most probably will be the timeline to respond to a data subject request so breach notification timeline also is not been informed in gdpr it's 72 hours again that 72 hours concept we will explain in detail in terms of when you start calculating that 72 hours right but in india right now uh, uh, like no specification but uh, there are certain guidelines which are for example certain gives you 6 hour timeline i i i really doubt how effectively you can do a breach notification after doing an impact assessment within that 6 hours right so that's something which is quite challenging because the it's not just you are doing a phone a friend right you calling and saying that hey we have been affected by a breach because obviously you have to do an a detailed impact assessment to let know the authorities in terms of the damage what measures you have taken how do you going to control the breach all these aspects have to be done within that 72 hours that is why organizations have given those uh, the timeline is given for that consent age is set 18 in india that's going to have some impact for organization working with uh, the this particular sector a, uh, especially gaming or any online services which which provides uh, 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 cater to the segment of age because uh, if you set consent age limit as 18 then uh, below that you have to take a parental consent right verifying a parent maintaining parental consent and uh, uh, all these things is going to be additional burden on the organization right so that's there <clears throat> processor obligation is not called out which i have already said notice component we are going to discuss that in detail when we go there what are the explicit elements to be covered part of the notice and uh, here uh, the gdpr uh, uh, gives you those explicit requirements and indian dpdp act also follows almost on the same but in terms of uh, the one additional requirement is giving it in the regional language so uh, gdpr doesn't explicitly uh, speak about your uh, uh, targeted children's part although this has been called out in subsequent guidelines uh, grievance redressal is is something you have to have a step by step approach in the dpdp act but in the gdpr you can directly approach a court or even a directly approach adpb before dispensing this with your uh, data controller 